Hi everyone, quick video here from Etta. I received an order today from Rose Girls and um, a lot of what I had ordered was a repeat of some stuff that I had already purchased because I just wanted more because I thought it smelled really good. And so I wanted to get some more mini melters of it. So I had gotten a couple of them that I hadn't tried that I thought, let me, let me take a chance and see if I like it. And yeah. I do. So rather than go through every scent that I got, um, because some of them are already sold out, and I thought, you know, if you're thinking, if you're even thinking about making a purchase, and if you're anything like me, a lot of times I sit there and I'll read the scent notes and I think, I don't, I don't know, am I going to like it? What if it smells weird or something, you know? And Sometimes I'll take a chance and I say, let me just, let me just get one and see if I like it. And, um, there are some things that are still available on the site. And I thought I would just go over the ones that are still available and the samples that I got, because I think the samples are ones that might be coming maybe in a up and coming ready to ship or something like that. So I thought I'd go over what's still available in case you've thought about it you were wondering i wonder what that smells like i wish somebody would tell me what it smells like so i'm going to go through the ones that i have that are still available on the rose girls website for the uh ready to ship so we have ooey gooey caramel and i didn't get this one as something that i wanted to warm by itself i actually got it as something that i could mix with other stuff i thought Maybe later I'll have like a nice apple scent and I might want to put a little caramel in it to make it a little apple caramel. Um, I even got, it's, I'm not showing it to you because it's already sold out, but I had even gotten a bag of the, I think it's vanilla waffle cone. And I thought, ooh, you know, something with the waffle cone and the caramel, and maybe an apple, make a really nice uh, blend for the fall. So I picked up a bag of ooey gooey caramel and it's still there. So it's, it's, um, it's caramel. It's not, it's not a super caramelized kind of scent, but it's almost a little, it's not smoky, but it almost seems like it's a little smoky. It, it seems really nice. It's not that super deep, rich caramel scent that I think a lot of people don't want. It has a caramel scent, but it's not overly deep and maybe some people think burnt, but it's, um, it's heading in that direction, but I don't think it is quite maybe what people say cloying or something. I don't think it's like that. And I definitely think it would do great as a blend for something. So Another one that's still on the site is one called Gold Digger and the scent notes say Snow Fairy and Fizzy Pops. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm all about the Fizzy Pop now. So uh, I thought, well, let me give that one a try. I don't remember what Snow Fairy is supposed to be, but I thought, okay. It's very, um, it's got the Fizzy Pop, but kind of lemony, kind of. I will say this one duff for me has a weird note in the background. Um, whatever's in that snow fairy, I think that snow fairy has something in there that I'm not too crazy about and it might do great on warming. I think fizzy pops generally for me do, but just on cold sniff, it's got something, something weird. Maybe it's the bag. I don't know. But then again, you know, if you're smelling it all together, I think you get a deeper scent from it. Just sniffing the little cube, it smells good. So I, I have high hopes that it's going to be good. But of the ones that I smelled, I would say it's probably the one scent that I feel might not be up to my up to my liking as much. All right, then um, this was another one that was on there and I, I can't remember what the scent notes were, but I remember looking at it and thinking, well, that, that 
sounds pretty interesting to me. It sounds like something I might like. So I had picked up a bag of bombshell. And I know the picture is just a pair of like red stilettos for the for the picture for bombshell. And it has it has like a um a lady almost kind of perfumey scent. But it's not an overbearing kind of scent. It's not um like if you think, oh, I don't mind a little kind of perfume scent, but I just don't like it to be a super strong in your face kind of perfume. I don't get a super strong in your face perfume scent from this. I just get this soft, pretty, kind of ladylike kind of scent. What's in it, I don't remember, but I don't find anything to be like super strong or it seems like something that would just kind of be in the, almost like in the background. In terms of what I smell in the bag, it's definitely on the lighter side. Um, and I have, I mean, this, I think this one was one that was released on July 4th. So it had to have been, I'm guessing it had to have been poured by July 4th if it was ready to ship. So, um... At this point, it would be, even if it was poured on July 3rd, it would put it at about two weeks worth. So I, personally, I'm going to let it sit for longer, but um, it's, it smells okay. It's just, um, I like my scents really strong and, um, or at least getting to be really strong. And I find that one on the weaker side. So I think the smell is nice. My fear is that it might not throw well enough for me. So that's what, that's the only thing I find a little leery about that scent, not the scent in general, just how strong it might be. Um, and then I had gotten these two in an order and I, this is why I went back. In fact, these two cents are the reason I went back and ordered more because I, they are my type of scents. So this one is Vanilla Lace, which seeing that it says uh, VS type, that to me says Victoria's Secrets. So personally, I don't know it from Victoria's Secrets because I don't actually shop there, but um, it smells fantastic. This is... I mean, obviously, if you're not a vanilla person, then, then no, but yeah, I get like that soft, pretty, lacy, vanilla kind of, not that lace has a scent, but the image, you know, works well for this. Another one that on cold sniff, again, I'm going with, you know, poured by like July 3rd, maybe it may still need to cure. And again, I don't know the Victoria's Secret scent. So I, I can't tell you if it's supposed to be stronger or if this is the strength that it should be. But it's an absolutely gorgeous feminine scent with a vanilla base. It's really, really nice. And then the other one that I purposely went in there to get more of was vanilla sandalwood and i i do love sandalwood scents um so of course i like the scent mm, with a with a base of vanilla but sandalwood it's really nice um the one thing i will say between the two vanilla scents vanilla lace and vanilla sandalwood if i had only been able to pick up one like if somebody said you can only go in there and pick one of the scents and you can't get both i would have picked vanilla lace based on coal sniff i just think vanilla lace is just a beautiful feminine scent and then the ones that i was trying today or oh, i tried on this last order and i thought I kept thinking, I don't know. I don't know if I want to add it to my co my cart. I'm, I'm a little leery about how it might kind of smell. So I was like, eh. and I said, you know what? Bite the bullet, get a bag, see if you like it. If you don't like it, mix it with something else. Find somebody who likes it, whatever. But they're winners. So I picked up Satsuma and Olive. 
And the olive kind of threw me off thinking, because I, I love like orange kind of scents, right? Satsuma, mandarin, orange, whatever. I'm going to like it. I love orange scents. But I, I kind of thought olive, I was trying to picture the scent in my mind, smelling olives right out of a jar. And I thought, I don't know if I'm going to like that with orange, Satsuma, right? But um, it's vibrant. The Satsuma is absolutely beautiful. And then you get this almost, almost earthy kind of note, earthy, I would almost say like earthy herbal, um, It's, I mean, not earthy like, oh, I smell dirt and not, um, not herbal like I'm smelling spices or anything like that. Just, it gives it this balance to the Satsuma. So the Satsuma isn't like this super, super duper vibrant Satsuma just hitting you. It, it blends so beautifully. Golly, that is really, really nice. I'm definitely going to let this one sit for a little while, but even um, kind of like I was saying on some of the other ones where I thought maybe they might need to cure, that they don't feel quite ready. This is one that I would actually attempt ahead of time thinking it might be ready because it, it smells like it's ready. <sighs> okay, so I would say... Don't be afraid of the olive in Satsuma and olive. If you like orange, Satsuma, mandarin, if you like all those kind of scents and you're more afraid of the olive, don't be. It truly just kind of almost mellows out that Satsuma a little bit and just gives it um, just a nicer just a nicer scent, a nicer kind of blend. It's just beautiful. And then the other one that I was a little leery about also, but I thought, let me try it. And that was basil and salty sea air and thyme. So maybe if you looked, you saw that one and thought, kind of got a little scared by maybe even the thyme, right? And maybe the basil. Well, I, I sniffed it already. No, if anything, if anything, I'm actually tempted, try not to, but I'm actually tempted to go back for more of the basil, salty sea air thyme and the satsuma and olive. That's how much I like them. I think they are fantastic. You just get this really fresh scent from the basil, salty sea air and thyme. If... I would say there is a little bit of an herbalness, but you you would almost have a hard time saying it's herbal. It's it's really not, I mean, unless you're really taking a deep breath and you're really trying to smell the the layers of scent in there, you really get more of the salty sea air and it's blended with that herbal so that it just kind of rounds out the scent and gives it kind of a salty air, earthy kind of scent. <sighs> Golly. Fresh. It, it, it would be the best description for this is just fresh. Because it's not overly salty from the salty sea air and then you don't get like a strong greenery, not a strong green or herbal kind of scent from the basil and the thyme. It just blends so well together. None of them are like super duper strong so that they one overpowers another one. It's just very, very pretty. I, I truly like that. I think, um, I definitely think it's a very fresh scent. Personally, I'm probably going to leave it for when it stops being really, really cold and spring is about to hit, I think at that point, it's going to be fantastic. I think for me, that's a perfect time to warm something like that. 
And then the last two things are the samples because it was two different orders. So I got a sample in each box. Uh, this is the one that I got the first time. And this one was blackberry raspberry baked zucchini bread. And I had not had, well, did I have something that had baked zucchini or had zucchini bread in it? maybe a sample or something and I thought it smelled really good. I smelled this when it came in and I thought, holy moly, I can't wait for her to release this scent because mm, you definitely get the blackberry and the raspberry and the sweetness slash tartness that you can get from that mixed with the the gorgeous scent that you get from, I love zucchini bread. I think it's wonderful. It's more, um, again, I've said that I like the more savory side as opposed to the sweet side of, of bakeries. I like them to be a little more on the savory. So I like a zucchini bread. I like a pretzel. I, I like uh, French bread. I know a lot of people don't like the yeasty note. It, it doesn't bother me. It, it makes me think of an actual fresh French bread, right? So I don't mind it. But man, you definitely get the blackberry and the raspberry. And then it it blends really well with the zucchini bread. So it's just a beautiful bakery kind of blackberry raspberry. That's not, um, it's not like it's mixed with, let's say, sugar cookies where to to me, and I'm sure there are a ton of you who just love the scent of sugar cookies, you like that sweet cookie scent. It doesn't work for me. I, it, it's just, I give me some sugar cookies. Yeah, and I'll be happy. I'd love to eat a few sugar cookies, but the scent for me can be a little too sweet. Um, that's another thing about my sweets. I, I like them, but the sugarier, more sugar they have in them, the less I like them. I like them to have a nice balance to them. So I think maybe that's why my nose doesn't always pick up some of the bakery scents because maybe it just doesn't really like that super sweet kind of scent. Um, I, I tend to like more of the savory kind of scents. Um, but this smells really, really good. Black Raspberry, raspberry baked zucchini bread. So if you like zucchini bread and you like blackberry and raspberry, be on the lookout for that one. I'm hoping it's going to be in the next one. Let's hope. And then the other one, the one that came today, was a sample of Serendipity Gilligan's Brew Noel. And I wrote the date um, that that I'm thinking it might have shipped. I think that was the date that I had the notice that it shipped, I think. I don't even know. I just figured it had to, you know, around, I didn't want to put today's date. I figured I'd put yesterday, the day before, whatever date it was, I don't even know. Anyways, uh, Serendipity, Gilligan's Brew, Noel. So Serendipity, we know, is that sweetened dessert kind of scent that has um, cherries in it, right? So it has a, it has a, relatively strong cherry scent. Gilligan's Brew is that uh, like coconut cream pie. And I'm guessing the Noel would be like a vanilla bean Noel. So I'm thinking, man, cherry and coconut cream. Oh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I love cherry. Golly. Okay. That, that needs to be a dessert. That needs, I want some coconut cream pie with a slathering of cherries on it. And I'm guessing the vanilla bean Noel is probably, I'm guessing it's vanilla bean Noel is there to kind of add a little bit more vanilla to the scent. But I tell you what, um, I, I probably pick up serendipity the most because cherry can be quite strong or at least in my nose, um, my nose picks up serendipity the most followed by the Gilligan's brew. Goodness gracious. 
Tell you what, I'm, I'm telling you, if I walked into a restaurant and I got a whiff of this from, let's say, like the dessert cart, I, I'd probably like order a salad just to make sure that I could order that dessert to eat that because that just smells fantastic. So anyways, those were the scents that were still available as of right now when I'm filming this um, that are still available on the Rose Girls website. And then those are the two samples that I got that hopefully will be some upcoming scents. I just wanted to share that with you. Like I said, just in case you were wondering what do those, what do those particular scents smell like? Now, hopefully you have a better idea. Um, if you, I don't know if you're interested or not. I just kind of wanted to share that information with you. And until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.